Jose, how are you? How are you, Jose? Good? Maria, how are you? Jose, I don't hear you. I think you have a little problem with the audio. Oh, yeah. Good evening, teacher. Okay, it's good, it's good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria. How are you? Hi, thank you. And you? Excellent. Tell me, Maria, what did you do this weekend? Uh, only I went to visit my mom with my dad. Where? It's on Sunday. He returned este, um, Saturday. Mm, maybe no. Maybe not correct. Uh, <laughs> I went uh, Saturday. You read? <laughs> uh -huh. hey, yeah, there you go. That's better. That's better, Maria. <laughs> Sorry. That's no, nervous. Problem, no problem. And Maria, where do your parents live? Uh, they live in Cojutepeque. Hey, that's a good place. Famous for yeah. uh, Motifaras, right? Yes. <laughs> but no, no, eh, en el mero Cojutepec, sino que fuera de Cojutepec. How do you say fuera? How do you say fuera de Cojutepec? Uh, out, no sé. Good, <laughs> outside. Outside. Out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. And Jose, what about you? How was your weekend? Um, my weekend was very busy. I have I had a lot of lot of work. That's good. Yeah. Okay. And Jose, did you work Saturday and Sunday or only Saturday? Um Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Excellent. But Sunday is very difficult or no? Um so so did you work um, all day, Jose? Have, mm -hmm. Oh uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday I I have to drive um from Santa Tecla to Jocuaitique, Morazan. Oh, I don't know Jocuaitique, but I know Morazan. Okay, a little far. Yeah, yeah, it is 2,023 2, kilometers. Mm, maybe not 2,000. 200. Yes. Uh -huh. 200. <laughs> Sorry. But it's a lot of, right? It's It's a lot of driving. Yeah, the Sunday is is exhausted. Is is two hundred twenty six uh, to go and two hundred twenty six return, or two hundred and twenty six round the the complete trip? Um, no, I my trip is um to. From Sunday to Tuesday. Sunday to Tuesday. Yes. Uh, Friday, I Friday, I I must stay in the Santa Tecla office. Okay. So today you are in Morazan. Yes. Ah, uh, so today you have to, today you have to stay in Morazan. Yes. Ah, uh, now I understand. 
And in Morasan, do you live in Morasan? No, no, I live in San Salvador. Okay. But, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a hotel in Morasan or it's a house or, or what? Yes, it's a house. Okay. It's so a house. The, the company have a house in Morasan? Yes. Uh, that's nice. It's nice. Okay. Interesting. It's a little bit different. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Your your job. It's tired, but it's really nice. Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad everyone is here. Today, we're going to continue with our gerunds and infinitives. If we remember the gerunds is ing. ING and short answers. We're going to review 5.3 in the platform, gerunds and short responses. One more time, just to remind us. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed. Okay. Do you remember a little bit from last week then? How to agree and how to disagree? How to say, ah, the, the partner, when, when the partner is negative, how to agree with the partner, or when they are positive, how to agree? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. So remember, when it's positive, it's so. so positive. So I like pupusas, so do I. Why? I can drive, so can I. I. I can swim, so can I. Remember, auxiliary, auxiliary. In the negative is the same, but in the negative is neither. I don't like pupusas, neither do I. I can't swim, neither can I. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Excellent. So right now we're going to try with our partners and see if we have everything correct, okay? Here we have eight sentences. We're going to complete with our partners, okay? So as an example right here, let's take a look. Um, Jose Arturo, can you please read the instructions and the example? Okay, um, read the... Read the following phrases rearrange and use what is in the bracket in order to make statements remember the ing from form of verbs of the verbs follow the example i enjoy spending time with my friends good so here no spending look no spending but i have to put with my partner in the correct form. I have to use with Jaren and then put the words in the correct order. Here is not in the correct order. I need to put the verb correctly and the order correctly. Two things. With my partner, you're going to put the verb correctly and the order correctly for numbers one through eight. Okay. It's okay, the activity? It's Okay, so let's take a moment with our partners. Uh, let's say we have eight sentences. So let's go 10 minutes and then we do quickly and we come back.
Okay, we ready? So, so, we want to try? Noe, I think your microphone is on mute. Excuse me. All right. Um, there you go. So, you ready? You want to do number one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. Number one. Go ahead, Noe. Uh, okay. I don't like commuting by bus. I don't like commuting by bus. Commuting by bus. Good, good, good. Number two, who's number two? Maria, try number two, Maria. I am not very good at learning foreign, foreign language. Okay. Jinga, learn, let me put correct. Learning, learning foreign languages, right? Cool. Number three, who's number three? Let's go with Jaime. Jaime, number three. Number three, teacher, is um, I'm good at solving other people's problem. Okay, good. I'm good at solving other people's problems. Nice. Walter, number four. Number four is I hate working with a group or team. Okay, good. I hate working with a group or team. Number five, Jose, number five. Um, I can stand sitting in a long meeting. Okay, good. Sitting in a long meeting. meeting. Good. I'm at Reyes, number six. Number six. I'm interested in managing, managing my time better. Okay, good. Managing my time better. Number seven. Jaime Hernandez, number seven. Number seven, I enjoy during lunch out every day. No, no, number seven, number seven. I don't mind. Oh, so, so, sorry, teacher. Number seven, I don't mind uh, talking on a cell phone. Okay, good. Talking on a cell phone. And the last one, number eight. Carla, what's number eight? Number eight is, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Okay, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Okay, let's take a look. Most of them are correct, only a little bit. Well, here we're going to check, okay. So for example, correct. I don't like commuting by bus. Very nice. I'm not good at learning a foreign language. Sorry, at learning foreign languages. At learning foreign languages. Three, I'm good at solving other people's problems. Be careful with this. It's usually the problem. The per, it should be the apostrophe. Okay. Number four, I hate working with a group or a team, excellent. Five, I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Good, eight, I'm sorry, six, I'm interested in managing my time better. Seven, very good. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. <laughs> and the last one, only a little mistake, I enjoy eating, eating lunch out every day. No, 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 that's the one we said. Yes, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. 
It's okay, all of the activities? Yeah, yeah teacher. All right, now let's practice a little bit about pronunciation. Here we're going to look a little bit of our pronunciation for the t and the d sound in the past tense, the final sounds. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Hi. First, let's look. Do you understand these expressions that she says at the end? Here is, I'm not very good at and I don't mind. Do you understand the meaning? I don't. Mm, um, yeah, um, I'm not very good at I Yo no me siento bien. Con, o no estoy bien con. No, 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 no. Mm. I'm not very good at it. Yo no soy bueno. No soy bueno en, en aquella cosa. Uh -huh, exactly. That's I'm not very good at. What about I don't mind? What's the idea of I, I don't mind? I don't mind. No me importa. No creo, yo creo, no creo. Okay, good idea is I don't mind is no me molesta o oh, no me importa. It's more like no me molesta, I don't mind. So imagine, imagine your boss says, hey, come to work on Sunday. Te molesta o no te molesta? Yeah. Yes. I don't. Right? Yes. So, si te molesta is I mind. I, I mind. mind. Si no te molesta is I don't mind. So, for example, the boss says, hey, on Monday, te dice el lunes, llega a las 10. No llegues temprano. ¿Te molesta o no te molesta? No, I don't I, mind. I don't I, mind. I, exactly. I don't. Hey, okay. Okay. I don't mind. I don't mind well, coming I, late. I got, I uh -huh. got, uh, later. Exactly. Exactly. But if the boss says, come on Sunday, I know. I mind working on Sundays. It's okay the difference? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice listening for main ideas. I'm going to put on silence so that we can listen. Okay, so here I'm going to put everybody on silence so that we can listen clearly and answer the questions. Listen for main ideas. Here is for looking for a job. Listen and Take a look. What does Bill say, Shannon say, and Ben? The three are looking for jobs. What are the three jobs? Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? 
I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise. Okay, number one. What do you think is number one? Uh, is flight attendant. Flight, flight attendant. Yes. Okay, yes, number yes, two. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, number three. Model. 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 Ah. Uh, it's excellent. Not necessary. Listen two times. You see? Excellent. All right. So, right now, we're going to take a look at a little bit about describing personality traits. Now, this is for describe people. We need a lot of adjectives to tell me how they are, what they do, things like that. Here, we're going to learn a lot of vocabulary. Let's see a little Hello. bit. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Okay, first, we have a lot of vocabulary. Take a look. Which vocabulary is new? The word reliable. The word reliable. Reliable. Reliable is like the Toyota. The Toyotas are reliable. You can use the car and you know they're going to work. This is the idea for reliable. Level-headed. Level-headed. Level-headed is the person calm, the person not excited. Like in emergency, the earthquake, the person level-headed, the person is normal. The decision is very comfortable. Which Moody? Moody, Moody changed the attitude. One moment happy, one moment sad, one moment angry. This is mm. Moody. We say we say uh, bipolar. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's like bipolar, correct? Moody is like bipolar. <laughs> The other words are okay. Hmm. Critical. Critical. Critical is the person that is a, they make that or they talk about other people. They are like analytical. You can think of critical like analytical. Hmm. It's too uh, Critical teacher. Critical analytical. Analytical. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's listen to the pronunciations. Repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. First, it's okay the vocabulary?
Yes. Yes. Okay. So listen and identify what personality each person is. Listen and identify the personalities. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. What is number one? Serious. Oh, good, very good. Serious. Nice. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What's number two? Stranger. Generous. 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 Very good, generous. Now number three. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. What's number three? Moody. Moody. Good, good, good. Moody. Four. A relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah. He gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. What's number four? Bad tempered. Excellent. Bad tempered. Very good. All right. So now what are we going to do? Now we're going to go with our partners and we're going to describe our friends. So, for example, I say, hey, tell me about. Tell me about is describe. Describe your best friend. Okay. So my best friend is, and of course we have the idea for the physical descriptions. It is tall, has black hair, has brown eyes. But also today we learned the idea for the personalities. Is very happy, is funny. My partner is, um, my best friend is a little moody. Sometimes is very angry and depends, yes? <laughs> Yes. All right. So, to help you in the chat, also in the chat, we have many questions to ask about friends. Look in the chat and make sure you have the link. Look in the chat and check the link. It's okay, the questions? Sorry, someone had a question? Uh, could you share this link on WhatsApp? No, because I'm not in WhatsApp. In WhatsApp group. But is someone on the WhatsApp in the in the class? Someone on, in the phone in WhatsApp? Yes, we'll share in the group. And in this moment, it's in the group. Great. Thanks. All right. So let's take a few moments, answer many questions, give details, not only yes, no, give explanation. For example, uh, let's try one example to be sure that it's clear. Um, Jose, ask me a question from the list. Ask me any question from the list, Jose. Hello, hello. Okay, maybe no Jose. All right, Jaime, ask me the question.
teacher uh, in the request to say yes are there any family yes go ahead jaime repeat is the internet a little breaking up try again uh, yes uh, the link in the link yes from the link jaime link uh, the first question say are there any famous histories or friendship in your culture ah so there are many different uh, friendships for example in el salvador we have the frame the famous uh, friendship for a uh, la ciguanaba and el cipitio the two are mother and daughter the mother and son and they are very good for <laughs> and you invent you see the important is describe create laugh it's only for practicing the english i don't know but it's okay the idea is for using the details yes yes all right so let's take a few moments with our partners ask and answer the questions and then we come back Maria, you okay?
All right. Tell me, tell me, tell me about your best friend. Describe a friend, a best friend, a good friend, an old friend, a new friend. Tell me about them. Physically, personality, why you like, you don't like them. Tell me about this person. Wow, wow. Go ahead, guys. Tell me. Solo una la vez. Muchos están hablando. Only one, only one. Relax, relax. Only one, only one, guys. Go ahead. Okay, and my best friend is my cousin, and she's very friendly, and she likes to help me. She likes to help me when I have a problem. Always she supports me, and she is friendly. She likes, um, likes to learn new things, like to me. For the reason I feel great with her and, and when she likes the same things I like me, for example, my favorite is Harry Potter. She loves Harry Potter and I, I talk with her or sometime when he, on Saturday I say i tell her do you like to watch movies on saturday when she have a time because she is tired but all time she likes to watch the same movie she is to uh, go to the park because i love to stay in the park she she likes to meet with my children and i think the, of my best friend good Carla, very nice, good, a lot of information, very good. Only one mistake. Carla is not correct. She likes to me. She, okay. likes, she likes or she likes soccer. She likes Harry Potter like me, no like to uh, me, like okay. me. Okay, but teacher, thank you. Excellent, excellent job, Carla. Only one mistake is excellent. All right, okay. the other partner, the other partner, who's next? Okay, me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my best friend is called Rosita. He's um, he or she. He's very nice. He's he's cool. He's very joker. Jose, Rosita is a man. Yes. <laughs> it, okay. Hey, hey, yeah. it's okay, brother. No problem. It, Rosita, no, no, Rosita. No. All right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. His last name is Rosas. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And we say- Now I understand, yes. And we say Rosita. And, uh, he's, he's Joker. He's, he's um, a good friend. Um, he's um, carefully, um, Okay, he's, he's very funny, really. Um, we we chatting um, every weekend and and talk about our families. Okay. And, and other and other things. He he's um. Um, it's my confidence too. Okay, good, very good. Jose, only two mistakes. Number one, he is very careful. No, he is very carefully. He okay. is very careful. This is number one. And the second is you need to have a little bit more fluency. No pause when you are speaking. Try to make the complete sentence and then have a pause, okay? Oh. Okay, teacher. Excellent, excellent, guys. Okay. Tomorrow, we're going to continue and we're going to finish unit five. We're going to describe, we're going to use the vocabulary. We're going to complete unit five. 
today we can check. We see we finished 5.10 personality. Tomorrow we have uh, the review and how to use the word because, and then finish unit five. So Wednesday we have the test and Thursday the last day. Yes? Okay. So very fast, only three days, only three more days. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for joining me. I see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank Have you a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.